hello guys welcome to another review today we're looking at the acer swift 3 so most people usually make a bad decision when they're buying a laptop especially if it's uh, the first laptop that you're buying you're more likely to make a mistake so the acer swift 3 uh, is the best laptop that you can find right now in under 700 us dollars it competes with laptops that are over 1700 uh, us dollars and it's still more powerful than them so not all is a swift 3 models are the same you know you might just search for asa swift 3 2020 and you think that uh, they are all the same but uh, it comes in two versions one with amd and one with intel and i cannot stress this enough but please don't buy the intel one buy the amd version one so the difference between these two is that when it comes when it comes to performance the ryzen 7 4700u in the amd version outperforms laptops even that you wouldn't have compared uh, with because of the price but it outperforms them so let's just start with uh, the intel one the intel version one it's still more it's over 35 percent more powerful than it and when it comes to it against the uh, macbook pro 13 inch which cost 1700 us 1799 us dollars it's still more powerful than that so actually this is a good deal not only that uh, also the dell xps 13 which if you know laptops you know that this is one of the most popular laptops that you can that was available and it was costing around 1749 us dollars uh, when it came when it came to the score it also outperformed uh the this laptop uh, performance so actually this uh, laptop is really powerful for considering the price range that you're getting also the ssd it comes with an 512 nvme ssd uh, which is an N nvme ssd which is faster than uh, most ssd that you can find on the market so it can do a transfer rate of 451 megabytes per second this beats the ssw swift 3 intel version which does it at 310 megabytes per second so in terms of rendering or converting a 4k video into 1080p it only took 11 minutes whereas the intel one took 26 minutes so you see in that scenario it, it's almost double the performance of what intel can do so don't even make a mistake of buying the intel version one okay so another thing is that whenever you want to buy a laptop make sure you look at the gpu this is the if not the most important part of a laptop it's where if a laptop has a good gpu uh, it automatically has a good cpu that's just how it is but when it comes to intel laptops they usually sometimes have a good cpu but when it comes to the graphic side they they are so bad that they can't even play a simple game a common game that everyone is playing they can't so when it comes to the gpu also the asa swift 3 md version outperforms it and in this website i'd say that it got knocked out of the ring in the first round so the gpu is really fast it got a score of 2847 3d mark fire score against the intel one with 1635 so the gpu of this laptop they have not marketed marketed it as a gaming device but actually it can play all games 
at good at good frames per second so in this test they did a test on the dart 3 where the intel one scored uh, 44 fps per second while the md scored 79 frames per second but i'm expecting in uh in the common games like fortnite it will still be able to play at around 60 to 120 fps so that's a bit nice for the gaming aspect which for intel you see and uh, it's even below 60 fps so there's an issue with i think intel should improve their graphics so concerning the battery uh this website also did a test on uh both laptops at running at 115 nits and the AMD version uh, lasted for 11 hours and 9 minutes. So that's a good battery life uh, lifespan co compared to the Intel one running at 7 hours and 31 minutes. So in most AMD devices, they usually run at low power. And the issue, uh, that's another issue with Intel where uh, their laptops require more power to be able to do some multi-threading or they're just not optimized for low power so in contrast so surprisingly the also the ssu Swift 3 intel version is costing 50 dollars more than the md1 which cost which just cost 649 us dollars and is powerful than some devices that we have seen that cost around 1749 or 1799 us dollars and it's still powerful than uh, those laptops so here are the specs uh, i'll just mention mention the main specs that i see are useful to are, are useful to a normal user so the CPU is very powerful. It can run at 4.1 gigahertz if you choose to use the high power settings, but I it can basically run at around 2.0 to 4.1 alternating if it's on balanced. So it has an integrated AMD Radeon graphics, uh, which is having the Ryzen 4000 it was released it was announced on early 2020 and it's a powerful gpu capable of running uh, most games that are available right now so even though it's not marketed as a gaming device it's still a gaming uh, it's still powerful than most intel devices that are marketed as a gaming device a gaming budget device so when you are looking at the Wi-Fi another thing that most people don't look at is the Wi-Fi and this one not only comes with a uh, good Wi-Fi but it comes with the latest Wi-Fi which is Wi-Fi 6 when you see a laptop with Wi-Fi AX that means Wi-Fi 6 when it's Wi-Fi AC you see that's Wi-Fi 5 and when it's Wi-Fi and that's wi-fi 4. so previously our manufacturers used to maybe sell you a laptop but they use wi-fi n which is slower than wi-fi sc but as you see in this laptop it's having wi-fi 6 which is not normal to have in most laptops but it's quite fast so when you're having a comparison of a speed you can reach up to 9.6 gigabytes of speed on the wi-fi 6 while the wi-fi ac can reach like 6.9 gigabytes so you see there's a big difference between the speed so that's one of the advantages of the esa swift 3 md version and it comes with these ports one usb c two usb type a which is 3.2 the late basically the latest version of uh, USB transfer and a headphone jack so concerning the webcam it's not that great it's having a 720p panel 
uh, which is worse than your mobile phone camera but it's understandable at this price range and also many laptops uh, don't usually put a good camera on on them because most times it's not being used then the battery it's having a 48 uh, watts battery which is quite beefy considering that most laptops will find them uh, having around 41 or 43 watts this one will be having a 48 watts so it will last a bit longer and also the price is 649 US dollars which is quite cheap considering the specs that you're getting on this laptop so i've mentioned a number of things that i find this uh, laptop to be interesting but let me just tell you one thing that i don't like so i don't like the display it's not quite as bright as you would expect but it's still uh, it's still nice because it's having a 1080p screen but it's not quite as bright and can't be used in broad daylight when you're outside but when it comes to performance it outperforms even uh, more expensive devices that have been there previously so also don't take this ssd for granted it's having an nvme uh, ssd which is slightly more fast and this is the geekbench score that i was talking about earlier the amd the ss swift 3 outperforms the dell xps 13 and the App apple macbook air together with the microsoft surface 3 laptop even sometimes doubling their scores so the cpu of the ss swift 3 is really powerful together with the integrated graphics panel will enable you to uh, be a workstation powerhouse and also be good at gaming so this is just a uh, time that it takes to edit a video or to convert maybe 4k to 1080p or things like that so if you are using it to uh, video edit you will see a big difference in how it performs comparing to other devices so you see it, ha it takes half the time half the time plus plus when video editing on an apple macbook air and also it takes slower time than the lap microsoft surface laptop 3 and a uh, part which is surprising is that it's also faster than the dell xps 13 uh, which you can just take a look at this was one of the most powerful laptops when it came but it still outperforms that so where it's it's likely not it's, there's not a big difference but where these other two laptops are beating it by a small margin is the file transfer rate and as i was saying the display is quite uh, not bright so you, you might have issues while uh, looking at it in a bright environment and the other thing that i haven't mentioned is that it's going to be backlit so this feature is not available in all uh, laptops it's only available in powerful laptops like gaming pc uh, gaming laptops and and pcs so it's going to be backlit can use it at night and the audio is just going to be standard not expecting it to don't expect it to have uh let's say like the audio level of uh more expensive devices but 
it's it's not that bad it's just going to be standard so concerning the upgradability uh, you'll be able to swap the ssd but the only thing that you should make sure you do is that you select the uh, amount of ram that you want it to have because it's soldered in you can't change it so this is the battery life comparison see it outperforms the apple macbook air and the microsoft surface laptop 3 which all costs above 1000 us dollars so heat it's quite cool So you can also get the less a less lightly exp expensive SS Swift 3 model which is costing at 629 US dollars but it's having a smaller SSD and it drops down to AMD Ryzen 4500U uh, with a $20 uh, step down price so I don't think that's worth it to buy the cheaper one but yeah you just just get the SR Swift 3 with the Ryzen 7 4700U I believe it's more better for the price so let's talk about the CPU so the CPU is almost as powerful as the Core i7 9750 H, which is one of the best CPUs that you can find on an Intel uh, device and it outperforms the Core i7 10, uh, 10, 1065G7 uh, which, which costs also more than the Ryzen 7 4700U so that's something to think about it's, it's having a base clock of 2.0 and it can be boosted to 4.1 gigahertz so the only thing that uh, I would have wished it to have is multi-threading but it's still powerful so uh, there's no problem with that it's more powerful than the GPU So it has a slightly better GPU than the previous generation. So this is the GPU that it's going to have and it's run, it's running on the 7 nanometer. So it will be slightly more it will be more powerful than other Ryzen uh, computers that Ryzen chips that have been uh, released previously because this is the Zen 2 architecture and to be able to play more games at higher refresh rates so that's all for today okay. I think this laptop is uh, really nice for its price and if you enjoyed the video you can like and subscribe